All right. So, good afternoon. I'm here with Dorothy Vale, and this is the next interview in our Reflections on, Reflections on Lagrange Interviews and Stories program. How are you doing today? Fine. Good. So, tell us a little about yourself. Well, I was grew up in Yonkers until I was 10 years old. Okay. When my parents moved to Grangeville, which was because my father got a job here. And I was very excited about moving to the country. I thought that it was an adventure. And we lived in the same house for about eight years. My parents rented it. And their rent for a month was $15. So oh boy! <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so we were very happy there, and uh, so I went to high school in Millbrook. To okay, graduate cool. from there, and then I went to New Paltz College. Oh, what did you study? Uh, to be a teacher. Awesome. But I didn't graduate. I went three years, mm -hmm. and then I got married. Okay. <laughs> And then I worked at the telephone company in Hopewell. Oh, cool! For a while. That's awesome. It's uh, did the bill, sent out the bills. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, then when I got married, I lived in Lagrange Hill again because I married the farmer, mm -hmm. and so it became part of that family that's been in Lagrange Hill for a long time. <laughs> So. That's awesome. So, do you have a favorite book? A favorite book? Oh my goodness. I read a lot of books. <laughs> yeah. I think one of my favorites was um, A Man Called Peter by Catherine Marshall. Mm. Is that historical fiction? Or? Yeah, it was uh, based on true life on there. That's awesome. True life, yeah. So, <clears throat> you mentioned that your family came up here originally because your dad got a job. What did he do in LaGrange? He was a carpenter. Oh, awesome. Actually built the house I live in now. Really? Uh -huh. Wow. <laughs> That's so cool. Uh -huh. So, what's your favorite place in LaGrange? My favorite place? Oh my goodness. I know, it's hard to pick. <laughs> Um, well, I went to the Angel Methodist Church for a while, mm -hmm. and I still, I don't go there now, but I still go, you know, to visit sometimes. So cool. I like that church. Yeah, that's a very pretty one. Yeah. I was married in that church. Oh, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. So, to you, what do you think is significant about the town of LaGrange? Like, what makes us special in your eyes? That it's not a city. <laughs> it's country. Good answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the you know the the open air, the a bit more spread out. Mm -hmm. My sister says the best thing our parents ever did for us was bring us to Lagrange Hill. Oh, that's great. <laughs> All right. So, final question. And we kind of we kind of came up with this question. A couple years ago, we did a program where we directly took questions from the community. So, how do you think LaGrange can foster a stronger sense of identity, like as a town? Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, no. It's a hard one. Mm. <laughs> so, we do it last. Mm -hmm. Build up to it. Well, to ask it in another way, how do you think we can come together better as a community? Like, what can we do more as a community together that you think would help? Maybe have more events that bring people out together. Mm -hmm. Especially at the parks. Have you been to Freedom Park? I love it there. No. Really? Oh, you should go. It's beautiful. <laughs> But yeah, no, definitely. I think more events would be 
would be a great idea. So, all right, that is the entire interview. Thank you so much for coming. I really appreciate you taking the time to come to the library. Mm-hmm. My daughter has one story she wanted me to tell you. Oh? <laughs> when we were young, of course, we walked up to the one-room schoolhouse on Cross Road. Mm-hmm. And I was the oldest in the family, so my little sister and I started out to school one morning. And we got as far as the post office. And she was crying. She was so cold. Oh, no. The temperature that morning was 32 below zero. So we went in the post office. I said, let's go in here and get warmed up. And Mr. Pulling was the postmaster. And he's very nice. He took us, stood us by the stove and rubbed our hands. And when we got warmed up, he says, you go home now and tell your mother it's just too cold to go to school. Oh, gosh. <laughs> so we walked home. And when my mother said, what are you doing back here? And I said, Mr. Pulling told us to come home. It's too cold to go to school. <laughs> so she let us stay home. <laughs> hey. Best kind of snow day. Wow, that's awesome. That's a great story. <laughs> thank you for sharing that with us. All right. Well, thank you so much.